don't forget to like and subscribe it's country man again just i lick you with some wisdom and i lick you with some knowledge you gotta take inside your brain it's your son i've learned a lot out of reading people faces no matter how them are going like them original them fake you gotta know when to walk and know when to run and know when to fall and know when to stand the government has the cip program they got the guns this the citizen investment program to make the contribution so this actually is a contribution from the cip program to the movement thank you John. this yes, project okay. is a social intervention project aimed at re reducing the level of violence and the level of deviant behavior for young people generally and more more specifically in the south um the the power behind that, that movement is Prince Kilash. As you know, he also has been involved with uh, other social partners like Dr. Stephen King and, and other members of the society. And they, they work together with the St. Lucia Social Development Fund. Come to the conclusion that there is no easy solution. But we have to work together. We have to work together. And, and the contribution by, by, this, by the government of the budget for the organization for one year the entire administrative budget for one year is going to be given to the, the, the movement to the, so that they can at least ensure that the administrative functions of the SEEDS project will be, will be working for one year. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great. Great. One more great and one more great countryman. Remember, I feel like cheer. Subscribe, click on another video. Editor boss, big up yourself. All I'm a Vinci friend, them on a big up on yourself. St. Lucia, my St. Lucia people, Trinidad people, Jamaica, St. Martins, all of the island, them. And don't forget Belize. See? Now, let's go. People, the wonderful people of St. Lucia. I saw a video from the news media a news report look at the picture in front of you that's the prime minister and a group in in saint lucia the seeds for justice he gave them two hundred and fifty thousand dollar and to me this looked like a straight fuckery we have a talk about this, you understand? Straight corruption. I'm not a lie. I'm a loser for the Prime Minister, yeah. Now, people, let's look into Prince Kalash. That's the man right there with the turban and him dressing and him, you know, Naya being a rope and them thing there. We want to talk about him because him right there, so getting two hundred and fifty thousand dollar we know nothing is going back to the community now me know what i going to say how come me know that well i that me i go prove right as up and show now let's go now that the rasta man there him name priest kalash him have a tv show which I looked at this show and it was very informative in terms of the information with, with food and stuff to eat and what to take for your blood pressure car. Me have high blood pressure and I really look on him show. But after me do the research into this man right here, so I realized they have a cook shop in a St. Lucia. You understand? And in his cook shop, he cook certain kind of ital food and food where the body, good for the body. And you cannot get a plate of food for $25. Theme food goes up to $80 a plate. Now, this is a cook shop, you know, a roadside thing with two chairs, you know. And when you come there to get some food, 
you have to pay a bag of money. He has never given anything to the poor kids, them, the needy. He has never handed out free food. I'm going to repeat that bumbo clock again. That's why you see them dreadlocks, boy. Yeah. I'm mean, going to want to boy him up still, you know. But you see, Uno, Uno has some pussy. You understand? Uno wear the crown. You understand? Drive a big car. Have a cook shop. And you are charged poor people. You are charged poor people, you know. I'll $80 a plate. Rastaman or Prince Kalash, you are big pussy. Now, people, I want to listen to me. Prince Kalash, I may not minimize the name, you know. But I have to change the name, dog. I laugh, editor boss. I laugh, but we have to change the name, yo. Uh, you see, Prince Kalash, him is a wolf in sheep clothing. And let me tell you why. Everybody on his panel, or most of the people on his panel, is all gangsters, drug dealers, and murderers. Now, I don't know who's on the panel, because I think Ayan Pum Pum is on the panel. And she has fucked Pan, Panel. Now, you have Dark Vader, Dr. Death. He's also on the panel. Don't forget Plastic Face. Now, Pierre gave this man $250,000. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And he gave the Marcus Garvey Ross $20,000. Now, I am wondering if there is some special favors going on. Now, there's a couple different things. Can I show you how corruption run you know? I'm want to listen to me. I want to listen. Now, the CIP program. That's the passport program, you know. That's the citizenship for passport. And there, this program, it's marred with corruption and crisis. In St. Lucia, you have uh, international businessmen speaking out, and the Prime Minister settled with these business people. Now, the CIP program is also the program that's funding this gangster group. You understand? The Seeds for Justice, which is led by Prince. Kalash and the Legion of Doom. You understand? When you see how corruption is running in St. Lucia, the nearest thing to corruption with the CIP scandal and the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister said that he would settle out a court with this guy. Now, where would the Prime Minister get all these millions of dollars? To settle out of court. I can tell you now where he's getting the money. He's going to the World Bank to borrow the money. And long after he's gone, your children is suffering for it. There you go. Corruption at its best. I don't think you can see a better corrupted government. There's a place in Viewford called Mang. It's about 5 to 15 people live there. Everybody run away. They should take some of that money, the 250000 and help the people them to come back there and come back in at them place. For real people, I'm going to say something to you right now. I'm going to want to listen. You see, this Prime Minister here are the most cowardice Prime Minister in the Caribbean. You have Jamaica Prime Minister. You have Antigua Prime Minister. You have St. Kitts Prime Minister. All these Prime Ministers came out and denounced gang and said, Yo, them are dismantled gang and gangs are not safe in their country. You have St. Lucia Prime Minister come out and him say, 
I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Crime is everywhere in the Caribbean. No, Mr. Prime Minister, I know what to do. You have to take it to the gangs. You have to have the police dismantling them because you know who they are. So stop complaining about crime level and do something about it. Seven men turned deadly on Thursday night with St. Lucia recording its 51st known homicide for the year. Dead is Marsha resident, 25-year-old Kutlan Augustine. Marsha never died, so she never killed my cousin again. A cousin of the victim, who asked not to be identified, decried the violent killing. The man was an angry person. He was good to everybody. So nobody came out of him. Preliminary reports by eyewitnesses claim that a brawl inside a shop between some men escalated into gunfire, with several shots discharged, resulting in the death of one and another rushed to hospital. The grieving cousin reminisced on the final... People, you see where this youth get shot? If you remember a couple months ago, Mr. Hayes get shot over there. Coco boy. I remember the other one, dressed bad or whatever you want to call him, him get arrested for all that. Now, this place is a shop, and the shop is run by a youth named Kwame. And Kwame have drugs and gun over there. That's why you have all them little youth there over there. And him have them and he's feeding them with the drug and the gun. And them go out and do fuckery. Kwame, me, me have to give you a name. A long time me not drop a name. And me have a new name for you, Kwame. You name the one arm pirate. You are St. Lucia. One arm pirate. Let's go. This man, Kwame, one arm pirate. Him have a shop on the main road. And in the morning, evening, noon, and night, it's about 20 youths or 20 men hanging out over there. Now, may I tell you the why we call that boy the one arm pirate? Kwame sells gun, Kwame sells drugs, and Kwame is a hitman who put it, them IIM fell put it from people. The youth on your screen, he leaves from Viewfort, Shantytown, and he is a seven. And now, him gone down to Kwame Place, the haven for gangsters. What happened to this kid is ironic. Because everybody is saying, he's a good boy, he's a good boy, he's nice, that's lies. This guy was hanging out with Kwame, he's a gangster. Him see a man come there with him gun pan him, and he tried to take the man gun. Now, the end result is dangerous, because all these things up in that Kwame shop are the area leading up to Kwame shop. Every dog and rat is afraid of March Town because of Kwame and Frosted Flakes. So now, you have Teletubby, Chevron Joseph overlooking all these things. Now, Editor Boss, Editor Boss, a genius to blood clot. Pardon my language. The man come up with the right name for St. Lucia Prime Minister. And we are going to call him Crime Minister. Crime Minister is his new name. Why hasn't Crime Minister dismantled the gangs and take it to them? And he knows who they are. It's only a handful of people. Yes, St. Lucia, let's stay proactive. Stop the complaining. My name is Countryman. Don't forget to like and subscribe.